Can drinking alcohol cause blindness? We all know that alcohol consumption, especially in high amounts, is harmful for your health. But can it actually cause you to have vision problems? Hi, I'm Dr. Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist, and you're watching the iFacts.com channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about all the different ways that alcohol can impact your vision and your visual health. Now, some of the things that alcohol can do are actually pretty scary, so be sure to stick around for the whole video. If you want to stay in the know about all things related to eye health, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below to support this channel. So let's talk about alcohol and the potential for causing blindness. First, we will talk about what can happen from chronic alcohol use over time. And then we're going to talk about how binge drinking can impact your eyes. Now in patients who consume excessive amounts of alcohol regularly, they are at risk for developing severe thiamine deficiency. Thiamine is also known as vitamin B1. So there are several reasons why patients who chronically drink high amounts of alcohol on a regular basis can become thiamine deficient, even if they're not necessarily binge drinking. Now, unfortunately, heavy drinkers often have poor diets that lack essential nutrients, including the nutrient thiamine. For some of these patients, many of their calories tend to come from alcohol rather than from nutrient rich foods. In addition, alcohol directly interferes with the absorption of thiamine in your small intestine. Alcohol can also be damaging to the cells that line your GI tract or your gastrointestinal tract, and these cells are the ones that are responsible for absorbing nutrients from food. Furthermore, chronic alcohol use also can disrupt the balance of your gut bacteria, which can also impair with nutrient absorption. And this can include the absorption of thiamine or vitamin B1. Now you may not know this, but your liver actually stores thiamine. So since alcohol can damage liver cells, it reduces the liver's capacity to store this essential nutrient. This depletion can become quite significant over time. Also alcohol, as you know, acts as a diuretic. This means that your kidneys are going to excrete more water, electrolytes, and other essential nutrients like thiamine, and it could mean that the increased excretion means the body loses more thiamine. Again, adding to how excessive alcohol consumption can result in thiamine deficiency over time. So how does all this affect your eyes? Well, thiamine deficiency is a problem for your eyes because thiamine is an essential nutrient for optic nerve function. Severe thiamine deficiency can result in neurological damage because it can cause a nutritional optic neuropathy. So what does that mean? The optic nerve is cranial nerve two, and it's responsible for bringing visual signals from the eyeball to the brain. When the optic nerve becomes damaged, it can cause blurry vision, a loss of color vision, and a general reduction in your visual acuity. Visual acuity is your central vision and how well you can read lines on the chart. Now, unfortunately, if this nutritional deficiency goes untreated, the optic neuropathy can get worse and vision loss can become permanent for these patients. And unfortunately, once optic neuropathy sets in, glasses or contact lenses will not be able to improve your vision. Now, in addition to causing vision loss and potential blindness, thiamine deficiency can also cause something called Wernicke's encephalopathy. This is a very serious neurological condition that's associated with alcoholism as well as malnutrition. Now, while Wernicke's encephalopathy primarily affects coordination, memory, and eye movements, it can also affect other parts of your eyes. In this disease, patients can have visual symptoms like double vision, drooping eyelids, as well as nystagmus. Nystagmus is when the eye moves involuntarily back and forth or up and down, and all of these things can complicate your ability to function well visually. Of course, reducing alcohol consumption is important to stay healthy, but in these acute stages when the deficiency has already set in, the patient needs immediate intervention. This consists of immediate or prompt thiamine supplementation. If the deficiency-related vision loss is caught early, Prompt supplementation with vitamin B1 or thiamine can help to restore some vision. However, unfortunately, it is possible that some of the damage that has already been done, especially to the optic nerve, will not be reversible. Now in your regular diet, of course, intake of thiamine is important. Foods like whole grains and nuts can help to increase your thiamine intake, and also a multivitamin can be really helpful to make sure that you're getting all the nutrients that you need. 
Now let's move on and talk about binge drinking and the effect that binge drinking can have on your eyes. First and foremost, binge drinking is of course generally bad for your health and it can cause severe as well as deadly consequences. Now when it comes specifically to your eyes, binge drinking can cause your eye muscles to become uncoordinated and this can lead to acute blurry vision or double vision. Binge drinking also makes you way more susceptible to injury and I can't tell you how many times that I've been called to the ER to treat a patient's eye because they have had an injury due to drinking that has severely impacted their eye, whether that's having a ruptured globe or having a severe eyelid laceration. And these were all the results of binge drinking and acute alcohol intoxication. So while periodic binge drinking is unlikely to cause thiamine deficiency, which tends to happen with chronic alcohol use over time, it still can be very harmful to other parts of your body, especially your liver. The CDC estimates that alcohol poisoning and deaths from binge drinking account for nearly six deaths every single day in the United States. That equals over 2,000 deaths every single year. And this is not counting all the deaths that are associated with chronic alcohol abuse. So no one is saying that you shouldn't have a glass or two of wine with your dinner, but of course, excessive alcohol consumption is not a good idea, whether it's binge drinking or excessive consumption over a long period of time. Binge drinking, of course, is never safe for your eyes or the rest of your body. Hope you found this helpful. Remember to hit like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.